All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashami Awashai Bashami Chakadash. The bond said, Elders and the apostles of the great millstone, say, Taste to Allah, I can put his word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word any calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shah is his son's name, whom the word any calls Jesus, and Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your Israelites, no matter what your appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother Yadira from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago. The brother Shamaya. The brother Tazawar. And we're back up to another lesson. You know, uh, a low wellness edifying. Con. So, a, um, you know, the title of this lesson is We Are Not Here to Participate in the Wickedness of This World. All right? Because, hey, man, we we led, we were led astray from Yahweh Bashim al And what did that lead to? What, what did that, you know, lead us to? Slavery, man. Destruction of our nation. You know? So, hey. Us falling away, now we're going to come back and serve you. How about Shemar al Shai? That's a story uh, uh, that the Lord has set up. All right, and by us serving the Lord, we can't participate in this world. We got to be seeking the Lord 10 times more, as it says in the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. You know, not leaning to our own understanding, not doing the deeds of this world. All right, hey, hey, hey what, what, is, what is being a true Satanist, as they say? It says following after your own heart, doing what you want to do. That's what a true Satanist is, man. Following after the ways of Esau, Edom, doing whatever you want to do, feeding your thirst, quenching your thirst. All right. They have so many different, you know, sayings out here in Babylon and, you know, restaurants and all these things. But it's all about giving it to your appetites, man. Mm -hmm. When it's good to say it's to refrain, refrain from your appetite. You know, you have to have that discipline when you uh, come into this truth. Mm -hmm. You cannot participate in this world, man. We, we got to be focused on the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a quick one for you. This Micah chapter... Two, I made the point. It's uh, Micah 2 and 10. And it reads, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. As the brother was going into, hey, we were sent here hey, as slaves, as a punishment. It tells you in the book of Baruch, suffer patiently the wrath that was put upon you by the Lord. We're not here to be the best athlete or be these uh, magnificent doctors or these celebrities. No, we're here to serve our punishment, you know. But ultimately, come back and return to the Lord and they, they come back to our heritage, man. Mm -hmm. and it tells you in a book of uh, Ecclesiastes, the whole duty of man is to uh, work. How is it written? Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Con. You know, we're not here to be, uh, you know, just these celebrities, man. You know? Right. You got something? Con. Uh, yeah, you get Baruch 4 and 27. Con. This Baruch chapter 4 and verse 27, it says, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Right. So we got to cry unto you. How about Shemal Shai? Because we want the Lord to remember us, man. We want the Lord to come and deliver us. That's right. We don't want to be left here inside this 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 wicked ass world, man. This bottomless pit. Right, this place is of, of nothing but darkness, man. We, we ain't about this world, man. We don't fit in with this place. All right. Even hey, when you were coming up, you always felt like it was something different about you, man. Like, hey, me personally, I never fit. I never... You know, will fit in with this place. You know, fit in with the people around me and none of that, man. This place is, is truly wicked. And the Lord he ha has, you know, his, his certain spirit set up. You know, that's going to come back and serve him. You mm -hmm. know, but hey, we got to cry to the Lord, continue to pray to you, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, and trust in our power, man. Mm -hmm. It says, for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. All right? Mm -hmm. hey, we got to humble ourselves in, 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 in the will of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Whatever the Lord wants us to do, we got to do it, man. All right? If we have been woken up to the truth. You got to go out here and teach. got to push this word for the Lord. You know, you can't be doing the same things that you were once doing uh, in, in the world. You got to be kill that old man, you know, hey, become a new creature in Hamashiach. Hey, you can't, hey, if you were a, a, a drug dealer or any of these things, hey, you put that, you put that shit behind you, man. Mm -hmm. You forsake those things, man. That spirit comes back. Try to hop back on you, read the scriptures, get into the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right? You cut that demon, man. Yeah. You know? The scriptures talk about <clears throat> you are a new creature in Hamashiach. Right. Hey, it says old things are passed away. All things have become new. Mm -hmm. So we're not on the same uh, things we're doing. The scriptures talk about how they're going to think, uh, speak evil of us mm -hmm. because we don't follow them to the same excess of riot. Mm -hmm. So if we're not doing the same things we were doing in the past, we have to be doing new things and which is righteous things. It says seek the old past. Right. We have to be on the... Um, more righteous vibration because all that other stuff is just what lead to destruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
Now, this is verse 29. It says, For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. And that's what Shosni Yahabah Shem is going to is going to bring us, man. Because, hey, prior to contrary belief of, of, of this world, man, they think that everything is just 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 all fun and games. They, they, they're going to live their life, do whatever the hell they want to do, you know, until they just die, man. Do whatever the hell they want to do, live a peaceful life, you know, die a peaceful death. No. All right. But they don't understand there's great sufferings coming. All right. How about Shemal Shah is coming back, man? You know, hey, this hey, the, hey, the Lord is a power that hiding himself. Mm -hmm. He comes back and gets his, his name back in a, in a mag, in magnificent way. All right. Look at uh, in the time of Exodus. So the Lord can be known through throughout all generations. People still talking about this, man. You know, and this happened thousands of years ago. How much more the 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 this this you know salvation said that hey, the salvation of Egypt is no longer going to be talked about, but the salvation of uh, 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 you know from the land of the north, mm -hmm. in Jeremiah the sixteenth chapter. So hey man, hey, hey we just got to continue to pray that we get this salvation because it's going to be great death is going to come to these people, you know. Mm -hmm. I got one. This James four. So like James four and four. It says, ye adulterers, and adulterers says, mm -hmm. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Whoso therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. So you Sorry. have to understand that if you're a friend of the world, if you're acquainted with being in this world, mm -hmm. it's because it say love not the world, neither things that are in the world. I got, yeah, I got that right here. Mm -hmm. Spirit. Kind. So you can't be friends with the world or you're going to be an enemy of the Lord. It says, if you're not with me, mm -hmm. you're against me. And you can't be with the Lord and in the world. It says, uh, you can't serve two masters. Mm -hmm. If you go hate the one and love the other, vice versa. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is First John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Mm -hmm. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not with him. And the scriptures talk about uh, Galatians, the first chapter, how the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to save us. We need saving from this present evil world. Mm -hmm. right. So the scriptures say, hate the evil and love the good. Hey, this word, it says it, uh, life and wickedness. Mm -hmm. So this word is continually wicked. Hey, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So if you're with this place, you're with wickedness and you're not with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, it says that hey, the, the coming of the Son of Man shall be as it was in the time of Noah. Mm -hmm. and what was happening in the time of Noah? Hey, Genesis uh, 6 and 5. All right, the, the heart of man was continually evil. You know, uh -huh. these people only think about wickedness, man. Wicked things that they can do. How how much adultery they can, they can commit in a day. Uh -huh. You know, hey, how much how much um un, unrighteous sex deeds that they can do, man. These people are all all obsessed with, you know, sex and a uh -huh. hey, 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 licks, murder. You know, that's that's what the, these people minds are, on, man. All unrighteousness. But uh -huh. um, when you go into this word love, inside of uh First John two and fifteen. Strong's G25, Agapao, Agapao. Agapao, it says to welcome, to entertain, to be fond of, to love dearly. So we cannot love this place, man. We cannot love this place dearly. Mm -hmm. All right, like, ah, oh, man, hey, hey, well, Babylon is not that bad. Hey, it's good to say, <laughs> remember Lot's wife. Yeah, kind. And it talks about uh, Luke 17. It says the coming of the Son of Man is going to be like the day of, of Lot. Yeah, the day yep. of Lot, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, in the book mm -hmm. of Luke. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one real quick. This first Peter 2 and 11, it says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, mm. abstain from fleshly lusts, mm. which war against the soul. Mm. So, hey, hey, we're, hey you got to have some temperance, man. You can't give in to every uh, desire. Hey, why? Because hey, those desires, they they have you uh, commit iniquity, man. Yeah, that's and right. hey, that, hey, that's not good for your uh, soul, you know? That's right. And there's nothing good that, that is of this world, man. This world is complete and utter darkness. Mm -hmm. All right, Job, the 10th chapter. Everything in this place is darkness. The light of this place is as darkness. Mm -hmm. There's nothing good about Babylon, man. But this is 1 John 2 and 16. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but mm -hmm. it's of the world. And all these things consist, this, this is what Babylon consists of, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, it says it has the souls of men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, they got your soul here. You know? This is what Babylon produces, man. It produces nothing but lust. 
All right, going going into your appetites and doing what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't participate in this shit, man. Mm-hmm. You'll the, be destroyed doing that. Hey, the Apostle Paul said, "No, no good thing dwelleth in this uh, flesh." Roughly right. paraphrasing, man. You know. And this is a flesh a flesh based world. This is not a spiritual based world. A flesh based world, man. God. But this is First uh, John two and seventeen, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So. If you're doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, all right, doing what the Lord has told us to do, set up his prophets to do, all right, and they also those that come back and just serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, whether you be a helper, you know, you be a woman that believes in, in the Lord, all right, you do, you, you play your role. Everybody play their role in, in this story, mm-hmm. man, you know, That's and right. hey, hey, you are, you are, you're going to get everlasting life. You're going to get everything that you have ever wanted, man. Mm-hmm. But if you're not doing that, you, you're not going to abide forever, man. You're not going to get that, that, that eternal life on the first go round. You know, because, hey, Israel is still going to get, you're still going to be saved, man. Said you're going to be saved with an everlasting salvation. Mm-hmm. But, hey, you two-thirds, you're going to get it through death, man. That second death. That second death. No one wants to go, no one wants to go through that, man. <laughs> no one wants to go through that. Mm-hmm. I got one. Yeah. No, that's it. <clears throat> this is uh, Second Ezra's 2. I get to the point. Mm-hmm. Second Ezra 2 and 36, it says, Flee the shadow of this world. Mm-hmm. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. That's right. And the scripture talk about how it's blessed if you're not offended at him. Hey, because the world is what? They get offended at something. Mm-hmm. They get what? Choked out of the cares of the world. You want to do yeah. this, want to do that. Oh, I can't. Niggas say they can't get a line if they get offended. Man, man I, I got something for you. God, yeah. That's this, it. this second Ezra is 14 and 14. It says, let go from thee mortal thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Hey, mm-hmm. hey. <laughs> that just uh, was so plain, man. And the scriptures tell you yeah. exactly what, how to operate. Be a man, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Lord letting you know that hey, hey, this ain't your rest, as the brother had read. Hey, I love Yahweh Shai gave the example. He said, this ain't my kingdom. Right. Mm-hmm. You have to go through what you have to go through in this society and keep your integrity. Mm-hmm. Hey, the scriptures talk about things written for times, written for our learning. We have these righteous uh, examples and accounts mm-hmm. so we can have our faith up. So we can learn more. So we can understand how to operate. Mm-hmm. How we uh, how to how to operate is to not be a part of this world. Mm-hmm. That's right. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, mm-hmm. and haste thee to flee from these times. Mm-hmm. Hey, we have to. Hey, it says haste thee to flee from these times. Hey, what we have to do is ultimately be kingdom minded. Yeah, we have to trust live, in the spirit. Trust mm-hmm. in the spirit. We have to be like our ancient forefathers, man. As a brother had read, they, they pilgrims, strangers and pilgrims, man. Oh, oh yeah, Hebrews 11. I got it right here. Huh? This uh, Hebrews 11 and verse 13, it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promises, yeah. but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Man. So hey, they had they was looking for that heavenly kingdom, man. Yeah, so they right. say, you know what? To hell what I want to do. To hell with this life. To hell with my own goals and aspirations. I'm going to do what I need to do in order to get there, man. Damn. You know? Yeah. They're going to deny their flesh. They're going to deny what they their own wants. Hey, the, set, the um, seven Maccabees brethren and their mother. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know? Hey, they was trusting totally in y'all by Shemal Shai. Mm-hmm. Hey, we go get these hands back. Don't worry. But you ain't got no resurrection of life. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, all these heathens are through, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. It says, and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So they say, you know what? We just pass them by. We just temporary inhabitants. We're just dwelling here until we get to our our, our kingdom. Right. And that's the same mindset we're supposed to have now. The Lord said in second address, hey, be even as pilgrims upon the earth uh, in these days. A hey, hey, not not complacent. Well, uh, yeah, not complacent, man. Ready to hey, get up and go. Yeah. You know? Hey, it, say, it says, make you ready to die battle. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, and we totally focus on 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 the objective. Mm-hmm. Trying to get up out of here, man. We want that salvation. Mm-hmm. It's it say we have no continual city. Mm-hmm. But we seek one to come. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Verse uh, fourteen. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Damn. So hey, hey, seeing that they seeing that that, that heavenly kingdom of fraud, they say you know what I'm a they hey, hey, they uh they got their con their conversation their conduct right. Yeah. You know, same thing we must do. You know. Hey, we, we declare this heavenly kingdom. We got to hey, straighten up our wings so that we can fly right. Hey, hey walk uprightly the best of our abilities. Have faith in the Lord. You know, hey, of course, you got to take care of your everyday life things. But, hey, chiefly, we're looking to get to the kingdom of heaven, man, by any means. That's right. Hey, it says in Colossians, the third chapter, in the first verse, 
in mm-hmm. the second verse, all right, that, hey, hey, we, we are, we are dead, man. Mm-hmm. Right, our lives are hid in Hamashiach. Mm-hmm. I said our affections on things above, above. not mm-hmm. on things on the earth. That's right. So we don't care about this world, man. We don't care about this life. All right, Romans the 12th chapter in the first verse. Mm-hmm. Hey, we are living sacrifice on, sa- sacrifices unto Yahweh Shema Hashem. Hey, all we worried about is serving the Lord. We ain't worried about hey, hey, the, the playoffs, you know, the shit that's going on inside this world, man. We don't care about that, man. All right now, hey, if you do, you know, watch the playoffs, so there's nothing wrong with that. But that's not where our focus is at. Our worship is at, man. Right. That's what these people are about. These people literally worship things like that. They worship mm-hmm. teams. They worship these celebrities. They right. worship the things of this world. They mm-hmm. whole fucking, they whole entire month, day, year, be, uh, they move to change. March Madness. Right, right. <laughs> they go home. They have no hope. They only hope is to, they sports team to win. When they mm-hmm. sports team lose, they through. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's just an example of how these people are in this world. And we, and we can't, we can't follow these fashions, man. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to go back to the mm-hmm. second Ezra. Second Ezra 14. And verse 16, it says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So this world is just, just going to progressively get more wicked and evil and wicked and evil. All right? So, hey, if you were following to that, and hey, you're going to eventually be, 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 you know, mm-hmm. dragged out of the spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, and be destroyed, man. It says that hey, you, mm-hmm. you'll be destroyed in your security. You got to be totally be focused on your heart by shot. You can't get complacent. You can't, hey, the Lord is going to be pacified for my mm-hmm. sins. Mm-hmm. You know, no, man, hey, hey, any participation in this world is, is going to lead to death. Mm-hmm. It says for, verse 17 is for, for now, how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them mm-hmm. that dwell therein. All right, look how weak we are, man. You know, we are falling from a great statue of, of what we once were. Mm-hmm. That's right. And we don't even eat real foods anymore. But now, hey, 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 the more the more the age progresses, look how more weaker we we get, and look mm-hmm. how more evil the world progresses, man. Mm-hmm. This world is not getting better. If anybody no. says, yeah, the world is getting is getting better, I think that things are getting no, nope. no, nah, man. You 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 living in a fucking la la land, man. I don't mm-hmm. know where you at. No you're not you're not here in Babylon because mm-hmm. crime has increased. All right, sedition has came to this land. Morality is low. Morality is low. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, the suicide rate is through the fucking roof, man. These people are through. Hey, I, I, I got a lesson lined up I want to do called these people are miserable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, the second just says they weird themselves with wickedness and destruction. That's right. He, they're wearing themselves out, man. Hey, hey, this place is so bad. The Lord said if he wasn't to come back, no flesh would be saved. Hey, they making articles every day telling you that essentially humanity would be just destroyed if it was to continue on like this, man. Right. You right. Know? Hey, man, you got you got sodomites running around, man. Mm-hmm. At a mass at a mass level. Mm-hmm. Not talking about small groups. A majority of all these people are sodomites, man. Mm-hmm. You know, some people are just hardcore sodomites where they just you know soul on that mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> yeah. Man, cutting Flamboyant. out their body parts, man. Yeah. Transformers. You know. Hey, man, this world, as the brother said, this world would be totally annihilated. Mm-hmm. This place would, would, would be just, it would just crumble. Mm-hmm. Yes, in languages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The more the more the wicked is ruling, the more these people are going to mourn. The more hell is going to be unleashed. Hey, man, it, this place is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. Mm-hmm. Nuclear missiles. That's hey, that's the doing of man. Through the Habash Shemal Shai, of course. Mm-hmm. But they show you that everywhere, man. Hey, on, on the Terminator. Mm-hmm. Terminator Judgment Day. Nuclear missile hitting America. Mm-hmm. Terminator yeah, Genesis. Insane. Yeah. Hell, hell of missiles coming over here destroying America, man. Because that is the will of Yahweh Hashem al mm-hmm. So why would you want to participate in, in this bullshit? This is going to lead to complete destruction, man. It makes no sense. None whatsoever. It's going to lead mm-hmm. to total sufferings. And ultimately, a, 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 a ultimate suffering, the second death. Mm-hmm. We're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone mm-hmm. forever and ever. A very, very long time, man. Lord is no joke. Yeah. I got something. This uh, Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of the Mo- by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, which means a part separate, acceptable mm-hmm. unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So at the end of the day, man, hey, it's our reasonable service to serve the Lord, man. Right. Hey, be not conformed. Well, verse two it says, and be not conformed, con with form, uh, fashion. It says to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good 
and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So you're supposed to get the knowledge, change you, uh, and change how you walk. You know, you got to go through that brainwashing. Wash your brain yeah. from the pollutions of this world. That's right. You know? Psalms 1, 119 to verse 9. Mm -hmm. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to thy word. That's how you become clean. Mm -hmm. Escape the fashions of this life, man. But Yeah. Right, you can close it out. So, hey, little one, just a quick out of fine lesson. Call her lame lock. Yeah, how will by Shem, how will shot by Shem or Kakadash? The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great middle stone. Say, taste to all the I can put his word with true, sacred with charity. Shalom, Barkathan, while a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.